Hi, welcome to this tutorial and today we'll learn how to use displacement in Maxwell in Rhino. So I'm using uh, Maxwell as a plugin for Rhino. Well, displacement is very powerful and uh, a nice tool to use, uh, but some, sometimes it, it's somewhat difficult to control. And um, so yeah, let's um, let's learn sort of a few tips and tricks. So um, today I'll, I'll be using this uh, test sort of scene for our renders. It's just a simple box with a, with a wall in the window. So we will apply displacement on this wall. Um, I also prepared displacement map. So this is um, sort of wood log wall. And this is going to be our texture. Okay, so let's get started. So um, let's create new material and go back to it. Okay, um, I normally like to reduce roughness from default 99 to something more realistic to 85 percent. I just like like it better. And let's apply a displacement. Um, the way we do it, just simply right click on material and add displacement. We can only use one layer of displacement for, for material. So uh, and it will affect every layer we have underneath. So no matter how many layers we have displacement will affect all of them and we can only use one of them. So um, let's have a look what we see here. So um, well crucially you see a map, so double click, apply a map just like in any any other layer like the SDF. And it also has same parameters here, so I will not touch them. Um okay let's, let's set the render view um, and select the material select the layer uh, Geometry and then assign the material. So this is um, this is our sort of texture mapping, and from you can see it's just a sort of regular wall. Let's set um, our test view and let's do a quick render to see how it looks like. Well, you can immediately see it's uh, it's wrong. It's very uh, wrong. And let's let's go back to Maxwell and see why why is it like this. Well. Crucially, um, very important that you set your value. Well, it depends what you do, but in this case, it's set in percentage, and that's I mean, that's why we have this uh, completely unrealistic uh, test render. So you see that the gaps are very deep and and logs are huge, and that's because um, Maxwell applies this sort of geometry changes in, in the relative scale. So it looks at the entire surface first, this, um, the surface, and then it applies uh, this material or these changes by 2% of the entire size. So because the, the surface is quite big, so the, the gaps are big too. But for, our, for this case, we don't need percentage, we need centimeters. So yes. Um, no, it's just more or less if you, you expect these gaps to be maybe something like 3 centimeters, so let's change it to 3. Well, 2 is good to me. Let's, let's use 3. And um, let's do another quick render. So, same view, same properties, only it changes the, from percentage to, to centimeter. And you can immediately see the big difference. So, here is the scale is completely wrong. And, and here something things are looking much better. Still far from perfect, but um, uh, the gaps are much more subtle. So that's a good thing. Okay, so um, let's look at the render again. Um, so let's um, look at the material again. Um, another reason why our resolution is so low of the, of the render is because by default subdivision values only five. Let's increase it to something like twenty. And see what what will happen. Let's do another quick test render. Yeah, you can see the uh, the logs are, are looking better now. Still not perfect, and you can see some errors appearing on around the around the cut this hole. So let's stop the render and uh, mark the previous ones. Um, we can increase subdivision values even more, something like 50. It will take more memory to calculate, but uh, the, the results should be better. 
but still it's a sort of kind of um, very soft looking material and far from what we're looking for. What we want to have is something like this. This is very, I, I delivered, made very clear edges, very sharp cracks, and that's what we want to create. If you look at the test render, it's still sort of very, I don't know, like a liquid, molded, soft, um, soft texture, not like a sharp wooden logs. Um, and only by increasing subdivision levels, we will not solve the, all the problems, especially these, um, these uh, sort of error, errors here. And in order to get rid of them, we need to change the mesh, the render mesh of this surface. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, um, so simply, simply select the surface and type rebuild. And right now it's one and one, and let's make it something to mesh by, okay, let's make it maybe 50. 50. <coughs> so you can see from the preview, um, the density is much higher, so Maxwell will have more geometry to work with. So, and therefore the, the resolution of, of uh, displacement will be much higher and, and all the cracks will be much more sharp. So let's click OK and do a quick, quick render. And remember that I didn't change anything here, so it's exactly the same material as this. Only thing we change is um, mesh resolution, surface, uh, yeah, surface mesh. Okay, let's do a quick render. And now it will take longer to calculate, so it uses more memory because uh, there is much more geometry to, to calculate. And in general, when you use, um, actually before you use displacement, you need to decide if that's very important for a scene because if an object is far away, it's much better to use um, this uh, bump map because uh, displacement, it actually changes the geometry and therefore it takes much longer to render. So only use displacement. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it says my, my computer is too slow. Okay, so we, we get start getting some results. So our displacement should look much, much more crips and, and sharp now. And then let's have a look. It's not the best machine here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, you see, um, now it looks like a proper wall. And uh, if you compare to the previous render, we don't, yeah, it's, 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 it's another level. And also, crucially, we don't have these uh, errors appearing here. So if you look back, everything is nice and smooth. Well, in this case, nice and sharp. So even little details are uh, visible. And now we are limited by resolution of this picture. Because if you look closely, you can actually see some pixels here, for example. So that's why the render also just uh, shows them. But all in all, I think uh, the results are very clear. So um, I'll stop the render. And yeah, this is how to use displacement. So thank you for watching, and I hope it was useful.